سوئی سوئی ایکچولی سوئنگ مینس دا سرٹین اماؤنٹ آف سیڈس مسٹ بی پلیسڈ ان سوائل ایٹ آپٹیمم پوزیشن فار جامینیشن اینڈ گروتھ اوکے سو یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک سرٹین کوانٹیٹی آف سیڈ فار اے پرٹیکولر ایریا اینڈ دین دیٹ اماؤنٹ آف سیڈ شوڈ بی سوڈ ان فیل اوکے ان سوائل بٹ ایٹ آپٹیمم پوزیشن سو دیٹ وی کین گیٹ ایکسپیکٹ گڈ جامینیشن اینڈ گروتھ آف دا crop so that is called sowing so you can take the definition of sowing that is sowing is the placing of specified quantity of seed in the optimum position <coughs> of soil for germination and growth so you have to take a specified quantity of seed for a particular area and that should be placed at optimum position of soil so that seed can be germinated and the growth we can get get a good growth from that crop okay so this is called sowing okay next is so this sowing is mostly practiced for those crops most of the field crops okay then some of the vegetable crop vegetable crops except tuber crops root crops and rice which are grown under water log condition or lowland condition because so in that case that is in root crop tuber crops generally and rice we should go for other method except sowing okay so in case of rice we can go for transplanting method and in case of tubers root crops etc we have to go for other method of sowing that is it is not sowing it is not called sowing it is called planting planting the term planting is adopted for other okay and in case of transplanting rice seedlings are transplanted in field so sowing is generally applied for seeds that is botanical botanical seeds or we can say true to that type seeds okay in that case we use the term sowing okay then second one is your planting except seeds true to the type seed that is or botanical seed the term will be used that is planting so planting will be applicable to those crops which can be raised from other means <coughs> other means like in case of suppose sugarcane in sugarcane we use vegetative part that is which is called seeds uh, a, a piece of stem that is called seed similarly in case of potato we use tubers is it it then in case of your ginger turmeric we use rhizome okay so then in case of garlic we use bulb is not it and then similarly for some perennial crops like some perennial grasses we use rooted slips so for this materials we use the term planting that means clear it is clear sowing is applicable for botanical seeds only and in case of planting we use rhizome root pieces then tubers okay vegetative material like stem cutting etc that is called planting so you can try take the definition also the term planting is usually referred to placement of seedlings cuttings tubers rhizomes slips etc in the seed bed for crop establishment okay so planting will be this term will be utilized for those crops which are planted by other means that means we do not use seeds okay then you will get another term that is called transplanting so in case of transplanting what do you do first A nursery bed is prepared. Okay, nursery bed is prepared, 
and then seeds are shown in the nursery bed first okay seeds are shown generally we go for broadcasting method okay and then when the seedling attain a particular age it is normally three to four weeks or it may be three to at three to four leap stage also okay either way we can consider either the seedling may be three to four weeks of age or you can take three to four leaf stage of the seedling okay when the seedling attain that particular age or stage then seedlings are carefully uprooted from the nursery bed and then transplanted in a main field okay so this is called transplanting mostly we use this type of sowing or planting in case of rice okay transplanted rice so you have seen in the in front of classroom the student of second year they are raising their rice seedling by transplanting method okay in pcp course so that is called transplanting you have to raise the seed seedlings in a nursery bed and in the nursery bed proper care you have to take the proper care of the seedling so you have to apply fertilizer you have to apply organic manure if you observe some disease insect pests etc then that should be also controlled in the nursery bed then after when the seedling attain a particular age you have to transplant the seedling in the main field so this is called transplanting or other way you can say that transplanting is the removal of actively growing seedling from one place and then planted in an another place you have to remove or uproot the actively growing seedling from one place and then transplanted in a other place so this is called transplanting so you can write when seedlings are raised in separate nursery beds and later planted in the main field at appropriate age of the seedling the term transplanting is used or the method is known as transplanting So now it is clear what is sowing, what is planting, and what is transplanting. Okay, sowing, planting, and transplanting. In case of sowing, botanical seeds are used. In case of planting, besides botanical seed, you can use any other material like tuber, hmm, then slips, rooted slip, vegetative part, etc. And in case of transplanting, you have to remove the seedling from the nursery bed then in transplanted in a in main field this is called transplanting okay then sowing or direct sowing so that in that case what we use generally seeds okay but of course there are some exception i will tell you later sowing or direct sowing we have three type of sowing or direct sowing okay so first one is broadcasting so first will be the broadcasting second method of sowing is second one is drilling d r i w l, -L i n g drilling second method is drilling or it is also sometimes known as line sewing line sewing drilling or line sewing and the third method is called dibbling so now we'll discuss these three methods one by one so first i'm going to discuss about the broadcasting method so what is broadcasting so broadcasting is nothing but placing a certain amount of seed over already prepared seed bed hmm, or land and you have to scatter it okay you have to scatter it as uniformly as possible over the seed bed or already prepared land 
which may be after that which may be incorporated with the soil or may not be okay that means suppose this is a prepared land already prepared so for that land you need certain amount of seed you have to take that seed and by using your hand normally okay but other way you can also uh, broadcast but normally that should be scattered over the field as uniformly as possible but you cannot maintain particular spacing but you should try to spread them or scatter them as uniformly as possible and thereafter you can either cover the seeds or may not be okay generally covering is done by if we the land is very large then hand covering will not be possible so in that case it is covered by plowing or leveling you run the plow or level so that will cover certain amount of seeds okay but not the all seeds will not be covered okay so this is called broadcasting so this broadcasting method you write down the definition broadcasting is a method of sowing where seeds are scattered or spread scattered or spread as uniformly as possible over well prepared land well prepared the land preparations should be completed beforehand well prepared land which may or may not be incorporated into soil or covered with soil okay sometimes if incorporation is possible then go for incorporation by plowing or leveling or sometimes what farmers do they do not go for incorporation simply they scattered over the nursery bed or field and then okay so then they will not cover it you will not cover the seeds so this is called broadcasting okay so broadcasting can be done in dry land as well as wet land dry land mostly dry land we go for broadcasting so farmers generally follow this method broadcasting method is generally followed by the farmers but we do not advocate broadcasting because broadcasting is not at all a scientific method so many these advantages are there okay so we do not advocate broadcasting okay but generally farmers go for broadcasting method so it is applicable to both wetland as well as dry land so you can see here a nice picture so you can see the man he is taking the seeds in a basket okay and he is broadcasting over his wetland wetland wet field okay so generally we broadcast the seeds of rice in wet field okay this is common then broadcasting is normally done by hand okay but sometimes it can be done by mechanical spreader also okay mechanical spreaders are there and then in exceptional cases broadcasting also can be done with the help of aeroplane that means air dropping you can drop the seeds from air okay so that is also sometimes possible but not it is not very common in rare cases or in exceptional cases you can throw the seeds by broadcasting using aeroplane also land hand mechanical spreaders are also there and then i have told you that exceptional cases air dropping can be done okay you can broadcast the seeds with the help of aeroplane okay so it is done already i have mentioned that it is dry semi dry or wet fields but this method is generally followed in case of close planted crop close planted crop means ha huh? the spacing between lines or placing between plant is less 
okay closely planted crops in case of that crop we can generally we generally follow broadcasting method and that means where the plan to plan spacing and line, line to line spacing is less important than the plant population that means other, you have to maintain the plant population uh, you have to give more stress on maintenance of plant population rather maintaining a spacing between row to row and line to line so in that case we generally go for broadcasting method then there are so many problems this method is generally followed by the farmer because this method is very cheap cost involvement in this method is less okay no particular implements is required less time is required for land preparation and all okay and for broadcasting also or sowing also it takes less time okay so that is why farmers follow this but this advantage of this method is that we require more number of seeds more amount of seeds are required where why because seed since we broadcast over the seed bed so seed will fall here and there okay seed will fall here and there some of the seed will go deep inside the soil some will be remain on the soil surface so those remain on the soil surface they that may not be that may not germinate also because of lack of proper contact between seed and soil those go be, below the soil they will not also will not be able to come out because it also depends upon particular in last class i have discussed that particular depth of sowing is required and coleoptile it also depends upon the coleoptile length okay so if the coleoptile length is short but you are placing the seeds at lower depth so that seed will not be able to come out that means germination is not uniform growth also is not uniform in a particular land at the same time you may get seedling also some uh, may be plant may be at seedling stage some may be at flowering some may be, may be at maturity stage because because of the non uniform germination of the seedling okay and as the seeds are not covered properly so seeds may be also taken away by birds rodents etc so to compensate the loss from birds rodents etc we have to use higher amount of seeds okay so that is why seed rate is high similarly there are other advantages right you cannot go inside the field huh? without damaging the crop so application of fertilizer application of irrigation water application of agrochemicals okay is not possible and those crop which require some particular kind of intercultural operation like your weeding then earthening up picking etc will not be possible in case of broadcast crop okay so these so many disadvantages are there even the farmers follow the broadcasting method because it is very cheap less costly it requires less time and due to the lack of their knowledge okay on this aspect so you write down some points on broadcasting so by hand it is done by hand mechanical spreader or sometimes i have mentioned that by aeroplane also we can go for broadcasting then second point is it is also done in dry semi dry and wet fields covered by plowing or planking but not always uh, sometimes the covering can be done either by plowing or planking planking i have mentioned that day it is nothing but leveling but generally for planking heavier implements are used okay heavier so then most primitive method it is a old method primitive method easy quick and cheap method easy very easy no technical know how is required no technical know how is required then quick you can complete this practice within short period of time and also no cost involvement cheap method only seed is required only okay so then 
number of so i have already mentioned that number of pens per unit is the area is more important than that of definite spacing from plan to plan so that means close planted in case of close planted crop spacing is least important than the maintenance of plant population the per number of plants per unit area is more important than that of definite spacing from plant to plant then suitable already i have mentioned that suitable for close planted crop that means spacing spacing requirement is very less in that type of crop we generally advocate broadcasting in assam one crop we grow by broadcasting method farmers also grow and there is recommendation in our package of practices also that is rap seed rap seed is grown by broadcasting method and that is special if the crop requires some special type of interculture operation like earthening up hmm? as you cannot go as there is there is no proper spacing between plant to plant so earthening will not be possible similarly picking so picking is a practice it is a harvesting method actually so when the pots are picked when they become mature at the time of maturity maturity crops are not harvested at ground level instead of that we pick the pots matured pots so this is applicable for those crop which have got unsynchronized maturity that means all the pots will not be matured at the same time so in that case this is followed but broadcasting cannot be followed if this picking method is to be followed for harvesting because there is no specific yeah so these are sir there are some disadvantages main is poor crop establishment but under poor crop establishment we have certain points so uneven as you are spreading or scattering the seeds over the bed or already prepared field so seeds will fall here and there so there will not be any uniform distribution of the seed uniform distribution of the uneven distribution of the seed so proper spacing again as the distribution is not proper so spacing cannot spacing is not maintained proper spacing row to row spacing is not maintained plant to plant spacing is also not maintained so some in suppose two seeds may fall 1 cm apart or sometimes two seeds may fall at 5 cm apart so there will not be any uniformity proper spacing cannot be maintained then uneven again so i have mentioned that as you spread some seeds may remain over the soil surface left uncovered and some seed may go deeper inside the soil so uneven depth of soil as a result at any given time plants are at different height size and age and this will ultimately create problem during the time of harvesting so harvesting will become difficult as you will get this type of condition height may be different size will be different then age of the crop also will be different depending upon the time of germination or time of emergence so covering and i have already mentioned while i discuss about definition so covering and compaction is not proper generally farmers do not cover if it is covered also it will not be proper as a result of improper covering of the seeds the seed will be taken away by birds rodents etc so ultimately germination will be affected and to compensate the germination loss for this thing that is uneven distribution lack of covering and compaction we generally use higher amount of seed rate more seed rate is required so proper intercultural operation like weeding or thinning is not possible so as you cannot go 
inside the field without damaging the crop so it is it will not be poss possible interculture properly you cannot do this similarly fertilizer application spraying of agrochemicals is also difficult so that is why it is called most unscientific, unscientific method then second method is drilling so drilling is what in case of drilling normally we use seed drill seed drill so it is a simple implement by which we can sow the seeds by maintaining proper row to row spacing plan to plan spacing as well as depth of sowing three things can be maintained in case of drilling row to row spacing plan to plan spacing within a row and third one is depth of planting these three things can be maintained when you use a seed drill okay there are other implements it is called seed come fertilizer drill seed come fertilizer drill that means along with the sowing operation you can also apply fertilizer okay at the same time you can apply fertilizer so that is called seed come fertility drill seed come fertility drill okay but if these implements are not available then what we can do we can simply sow the seeds or drill the seeds by using our hand simply line should be made first or furrows should be made at a specific dimension that means there should be distance proper distance between two rows or two lines okay and by using your hand you can sow the seeds so this is called drilling that means in drilling row to row spacing plan to plan spacing and depth of sowing is maintained that is why the germination is uniform you can maintain the optimum plant population at a particular depth you are going to sow depending upon the seed size okay so seedling will come at the same time that means germination and emergence will occur at the same time and you will get a uniform plant stand in the field as you are maintaining proper row to row spacing as well as plan to plan spacing so what will be convenient that means you can go for interculture operation earthening can be done other interculture operation weeding can be done picking will be possible spraying of agriculture agrochemicals like fertilizer insecticides pesticides etc will be possible and main thing is that we are maintaining optimum plant population you know that optimum plant population is very important to get the higher yield okay so that is why drilling is very helpful and drilling method you will get some picture kera and pora there are two methods kera and pora methods in case of pora method that means so along with the plow there will be attachment of a funnel funnel will be there and through that funnel seeds will be drop okay and there will be some outlets according to the size of your plow and there will be attachment okay so there may be four funnels four funnels mean for your outlet means you can cover four lines together if there is one outlet then you can cover only one line okay like that so you have to put the seeds in that funnel and then seed will fall in a particular line so this is called kera method the pora method then pora kera method is there kera method means you have to open up the furrow with the help of plow first then put the seeds after that so this is called kera method okay so i have some pictures here you will understand so drilling is practice of placing or dropping seeds in furrows or lines it is a practice of placing or dropping seeds in furrows or lines you have to place seeds in already prepared furrows or line and most important is that in after sowing what is done 
limits are covered with soil in broadcasting it was not mostly covered okay uh, but in line sowing or drilling covering is must immediately after sowing you have to cover the rows okay if it is uh, uh, if the area is very large then you can go for leveling with the help of leveler or planker you can cover the seeds or if it is a area is small then hand with the help of hand also you can cover the seeds so there will not be any loss from birds rodents etc okay so this is called drilling drilling of seeds in furrows by hand you can see a picture so drill, so already pre lines are prepared already you can see the lines are prepared okay and the lady is drilling the seeds in lines okay so she is simply using her hand for sewing so this is called you can see that is diamonds or particular diamonds or lines are made you can see here the particular diamonds or lines are made and depth of these lines or furrows are also uniform you can see from the picture and then the seeds will be placed in a particular furrow and then covered with soil okay so this is called drilling so already i have already mentioned that you have to made you have to make furrows of particular dimension depending upon the crop huh? if a crop is suppose in rice we generally follow 20 cm in case of green gram black gram we follow 30 cm like that then the row to row distance so at a particular predetermined dimension furrows are of predetermined dimension not only spacing also depth okay seeds are dropped or placed at a definite depth and distance within a furrow within a line you have to place the seeds in a definite distance that means seed to seed distance should be definite and depth also should be definite okay it is it depends upon the crop what type of crop or what type of crop or seeds you are sowing covered with soil and compacted for better seed soil better seed soil contact so this is most important so here you have to go for covering after sowing is over or drilling is over you have to cover the seeds so that there will be better seed and soil contact which will help in quick uniform germination of seeds seed drill or seed cum fertilizer drills are used simply seed drill that means only used for sowing sowing of seeds in case of seed cum fertilizer drill fertil drill so first fertilizer is applied then seeds are shown okay so this is called seed cum fertilizer fertil drill but if all these these are not available then simply you use your hand okay then i have already discussed about what is pora and what is kora kera method pora and kera method use of seeding funnel so a funnel should be there and in that funnel funnel you have to pour the seeds and then when you move when you move the so seed will be dropped at a specific distance use of seeding funnel that is pora a tube with a funnel at the top and second is kera that is sowing behind the plow that means with the help of plow you should first open up the furrow then put the seeds okay that means you have to follow follow the furrow so in first method pora method sowing will be done simultaneously along with the movement of that implement but in second case first you have to open up the furrow then you have to then secondly you have to sow the seeds okay in lines hand sowing is done very often so these if these are not available then you have to use your hand huh? with the help of hand sowing should be done pora method of sowing i am going to show you i have already explained what is pora so you see you can see here here is a hopper you can see the lady is pouring putting seeds 
the lady is putting seeds here okay and there you can see there are three yeah, tubes three or four tubes so this way the seeds will come and in this line the seeds will be dropped the first line for first tube then second tube will put the seed here and place the seed then third will place the seed here and fourth will place the seed so this is called pora method of sowing okay so along with their movement sowing also will be done then seed drill you can see this is a old very primitive seed drill so here two outlets are there that means you can cover two rows okay two rows so this is a tractor drawn seed drill okay so with the help of tractor the fellow is sowing seeds in rows line line is also prepared at the same time at a particular depth at a particular dimension then row to row spacing is maintained then through this seeds are falling on a particular row okay so that means at the same time one two three four five five rows can be covered okay at the same time so this is called drilling method now can you differentiate what is drilling and broadcasting so broadcasting we will not maintain any spacing row to row and plant to plant spacing seeds will simply scattered over the well prepared land okay most cases seed will remain uncovered so there will be loss of seeds as a result of birds may take away okay or insect pests etc rodents may take away so ultimately there will be poor germination to compensate the germination you have to take more seeds but drilling is you have to maintain specific dimension row to row plan to plan as well as depth and covering is very very important drilling of manures and fertilizer so i have told you that seed come fertilizer drill there is a drill so if there is two hoppers then you can put fertilizer as well as also soda seeds your if the hopper number is more then you can also use some insecticides pesticides also okay so drilling of manures and fertilizers pesticides and soil amendments soil amendments are lime hmm? to increase the or decrease the acidity of the soil we am amend the soil so so this amendments like lime or gypsum these are also can be used <coughs> simultaneously so that depends upon the number of hoppers if number of hoppers is more so at that time at the same time you can apply manures fertilizer you can sow the seeds as well as you can apply insecticides pesticides also adopted for both pure and intercrop pure means only one crop when in a particular area only 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 one crop is grown then it is called pure crop okay but there are certain crops where intercropping is also possible that means if the crop is widely spaced crop or the crop which required what wider spacing between row to row so we can go for intercropping that means in between the two rows of main crop a second crop can be grown so that is called intercropping so seed drill can be used or this drilling method can be used not only for pure crop but also for intercrop so advantages so emergence of the seedling will be uniform germination will be proper and after germination will get emergence that means seed will seedling will come out from the soil so that is called emergence and emergence will be uniform even okay that is why you will get a uniform plant stand uniform plant stand so our main objective is to get uniform plant stand better plant stand so this objective will be fulfilled by using the or adopting the drilling method then seed rate is considerably reduced so there will be no loss of seeds due to bird attack rodents attack etc and there will not be failure of the germination of seeds because seeds are covered with soil okay the seeds will be placed at a particular depth which will offer better contact between seed and soil so seed that we can considerably reduce then which can be as the crops are grown in lines so you can go for 
weeding operation. Weeding operation or any other intercultural operation can be followed properly because there will be a particular spacing between row to row. Row to row spacing will be maintained as well as plan to plan <coughs> spacing also will be maintained. So we can go for intercultural operation without damaging the crop. We use any type of implements. Different implements are available for weeding, dry laying implements. Hmm? So that can be used or you can loosen the soil. Then spraying of agri agrochemicals application of irrigation and other intercultural operation become easier. So this is only for growing the crops in lines. Okay. So spraying of agrochemicals like pesticides, herbicides, insecticides, etc. can be applied without damaging the crop because you can a farmer can go inside the field without damaging the crop and irrigation also can be done apply irrigation furrow irrigation can be applied border strip and check basin etc etc can be applied and intercultural operation become easier okay and mulching mulching is a practice which is adopted to conjure moisture or to seek evaporation loss of water from the soil okay so this is a practice so this practice is normally followed in arid and semi-arid region where rainfall is less under that situation mulching is used so if the crops are sown in lines so mulching can be applied mulch material can be applied that means interro spaces can be well covered with application of mulch material okay so that will save the evaporation loss that means some specific practices also can be followed in this method okay so that is why this method is called scientific similarly you have to explain drilling method is most scientific method so you have to explain why what are the reasons drilling is a most scientific method or drilling is advocated rather than broadcasting so like you have to explain same points you have to write here the advantages but disadvantages what are the disadvantages so disadvantages only that it takes time hmm? it takes time it will be costly also energy requirement is more okay etc and only three or four requires more time more labor and energy more number of labors will be required for making lines then putting the seeds then covering etc then and more cost cost involvement will be more okay there will be more cost involvement then next one is dibbling so dibbling <coughs> so dibbling another method that is broadcasting drilling and dibbling okay so dibbling is simply that is you have to place the seeds in already prepared land at a particular point that means row is prepared row is already prepared you have to make a hole okay by using some simple implements called dibbler or it is called planter so that should be used and then on an already prepared line you have to place the seats okay one seats or sometimes you may increase the number of seats oh, in a pocket or in a pit okay so that is called dibbling so suppose in case of your vegetable crops suppose you want to raise pumpkin huh? you have prepared the land so what you will do you put the pumpkin seed in a small hole by which can be generally made by your finger also using your finger also so that is called dibbling okay you have to place in case of uh, potato also it is called dibbling a huh? tuber is placed in a hole particular hole then in case of maize dibbling is done sugar cane dibbling is done 
okay so in case of drilling simply you sow the seeds but here in the line you have to make a hole or a pocket or a pit small pit then put the seeds okay so this method is called dibbling method this is a method of putting a seed or a few seeds or seed materials in a furrow hole or pit made at a predetermined spacing and depth with a dibbler or planter or very often by hand here also you have to maintain the spacing spacing must be maintained in this case dibbling method also okay dibbling method and generally dibbling method is adopted for widely spaced crop for those crop requirement of low to low spacing is more or plan to plan spacing is more in that case dibbling method is generally followed okay in predetermined lines furrows you have to or you have to put your seed in a pit or hole okay so this method is called dibbling method you can see some drill uh, dibbler so this is a dibbler okay you can use for making a hole in a furrow so these are also some dibblers or if these are not available simply you can use your finger also you can use a bamboo stick no or wooden stick as a dibbler okay so these are the dibbler various types of dibbler 